Welcome to another Coach's Preseason interview right here on Cape Land and Open Spaces Sports as we visit with Jerry McKee, the head volleyball coach of the Colby Eagles, brought to you by Farm Credit of Western Kansas. And Coach, uh, as you look ahead to this year, what do you expect out of your Eagles? Uh, I expect us to be uh, fairly experienced and uh, we should be able to play. All right, folks, now you can learn a whole lot more about Colby Eagle Volleyball. All you need to do is go to openspacesports.com. Well, Coach, uh, let's talk a little bit about a uh, team with experience. Uh, you did play a lot of kids last year uh, uh, on your volleyball team that are back again this year. First of all, where does the leadership on this team come from? Right now we have uh, three seniors that we think is going to provide that leadership, but uh, we expect everybody to kind of jump in and help with leading and being a part of the group. The reality is if you have three seniors, this is still a young volleyball team, isn't it? Oh, it, it's a very young volleyball team. Now, a year ago, I remember uh, we had uh, some size on the front line, in particular as Schindler comes to mind at six foot, uh, but uh, you played well at the net. Is that going to be a strength? Uh, I think I think we're going to be all right at the net. Uh, I'd like to have a little more size, but, you know, we've got good size. When it comes to the most important part of the game for you and for this team, what would it be? Probably uh, finding our setter that's going to be able to run our offense and put the ball in position for us to uh, make a good attack. So without the setter, we can't get the good set, but somebody's got to pass the ball to the setter, right? That's right, and we feel our passing skills are uh, pretty good, uh, but you know they can always be better, But uh, and we've got... Uh, two or three people that we're looking at to fill our setting role. By and large, I've looked at the schedule. There's a little bit of a change from last year, but by and large, the same. You're going to be at Liberal, I believe. You go back to Topeka. You're going to go to Oakley as well for tournaments. Uh, uh, any uh, the, the change, what's the change that we have this year, if you can think of it off the top of your head? Uh, the change is probably we've got to play a lot more of our league schools due to the fact that uh, our league champions this year will be based upon league uh, play and then tournament play. So those will be added together to make a league champion. Will there be a league tournament at the end of the season or in October? There will be a league tournament, but it will also be affected by how you have played in the league on whether or not uh, you're going to be the league champ uh, as you get done with league tournament. As you look through the league, Ulysses, Holcomb, Hugoton, Scott City, Goodland, Colby, Who's the favorite in your opinion? Are we the favorite? Uh, take us out of it, who would be the favorite? Uh, I would say right now I'd probably be looking at Ulysses and probably Holcomb. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of changes on who moved, who's still out, and who didn't come out. You know, so those change. You've had a lot of numbers in the last couple of years. Are your numbers where they are? A wannabe, what are your numbers right for this year? Uh, right now we're at 29. We're, we should end up somewhere in the 30s when we get everybody uh, in the practice. Which provides you with three varsity, a JV, and a C team full pretty much. Then. Uh, yes, uh, we should, uh, should we should be able to fill three teams pretty easily. All right, Jerry, good luck to you as you uh, look ahead to the upcoming season for the Lady Eagle volleyball team. We'll be there to cover you all the way. All right, well, thank you. Coach McKee joining us right here on Open Spaces Sports, brought to you by Farm Credit of Western Kansas and also the many sponsors throughout the Colby area. Thanks for joining us.